Hello and welcome to Dr. Fitness USA, the show. Exercise is medicine, strength training is stronger medicine. With your host, Batista Gramode, and myself, Stephen Hersey, aka Dr. Fitness USA. The show is designed to uplift and inspire a world of healthier and stronger people. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dr. Fitness USA, the show. I'm Batista, your host, and I'm here with Stephen Hersey, who is also known as Dr. Fitness USA my co-host. And today we have an exceptional guest for you. Her name is Dr. Meg Jaspin, and she's the founder of the Holistic Healing and Wellness Center in Longboat Key, Florida. She has numerous certifications, including a master's in psychology and is an ordained minister from the International metaphysical ministry. She was born with a gift, a special gift to see, feel, and move energy. And she uses various technologies, including the Tesla biohealing technology, combined with her gift to help people reset, regenerate, and rewrite their future. Welcome, Mitch. We're so excited to have you on Dr. Fitness USA, the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Batista. Thank you, Stephen. I absolutely love to be here with you today. Great. So I'm intrigued about that gift you were born with. How, mm -hmm. When did you realize you had a gift? So so if I I, I, I go back to my really early childhood, I was feeling when people were sad. So, and I believe I learned, I learned that with uh, my parents were going through a troubled time, I will say, at the, when I was two. And I was feeling when my mother wasn't happy, I was feeling my grandmother not happy as well. And my 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 first the first way that I was using the gift it's to help people feel good. So it was really about having them smile again, and that was difficult for a a, a baby. I will say a little kid. So that was my my first my first way of using my gift, helping people smile and bringing them joy in their heart. I think it was that. The first way I was using it. <laughs> so that's very uh, that's very cool because you've been basically healing people your whole life. But you know, sometimes when we are young and we we have we're different, we have a gift. Then it's sometimes hard to integrate with friends or people look at you funny, like oh, you're you're different. Did you have that experience? So I will tell you that I never talk about it. I talk about it when I turn around. 40, I was invited at a friend's 40th birthday party. And I was with all these people. They were healer, psychic, medium, a magician. You were in a, a place where you have all these people. For me, they were weird. <laughs> it was so funny. I was looking at them and say, oh my gosh. And in fact, one of them say, do you know that... Um, you uh, you have a gift you 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 can feel right and i never answer he told me major uh, do you feel can you feel i say what are you talking about he said man all the people all my friends say you are a healer you can feel you can do stuff and tell me about it and i begin to talk with him i felt safe with him but you know what happened? I talked to one of my friends about it, and she was very weird. She thought I was in a cult and whatever. I say, oh my gosh, I should never have talked. But the great news is that in my environment in France, I never talk about it. Even my parents didn't know about it. And when I came to the US, at for my 40, I would say, <laughs> I gave myself the gift of freedom because here 
in fact, you can be and do whatever you want, right? So I gave myself this freedom and I began to discover all this healing and technology and and also I returned to school to study psychology because I was always interested in psychology. But I went a little bit further because what I wanted to do is understand my gift. So I study quantum physics. I study, and I study. I have my master at Columbia University, where they have a department where they study all alternative technology and mind, body, spirit. And I study spirituality. I study metaphysics. I, I, I was trying to understand me myself first, not other, but myself, and be able to understand how I could do that and how I can talk about it, because. I wasn't comfortable talking about it. Yes. How can you tell someone, okay, I can feel that here you have that in your body that's not right or in your mind. Uh, I, I can feel why you have a trauma and it's coming from this time. How can you explain that? There is no way to explain it. It's not, and you have to understand that my first field of study was mathematics. So I was like, one plus one equal, equal two. I wasn't at all. Oh. So I couldn't even talk about that. So when did you decide to make a career out of it? I began to open myself. And as soon as I became truly authentic, my coaching was switching. And it happened organically. That's why uh, we talk about it. That's why I say, you can try to be and do whatever unless you are authentically, truly who you are, nothing is working. Mm. So people struggle in their life because they are faking it. But as soon as you step in what we call the greatness, what you truly are, what you came here to do, as soon as you step in, everything is flowing. The door opening. And I will tell you, as soon as I arrive, I arrived by Florida. And when I arrived, I was meeting these people that I would never have, have met in France, but like never. They were all naturopath, uh, acupuncture. But these people, I will have met them. But all of them were doing alternative medicine. So energetic. And it was all about something that we have inside using your gift. They were using their gift. Mm -hmm. And I awakened like that. I awakened to something bigger than what I even could, thought I could do. I, I, I never thought about all that. Mm -hmm. That's great. So let's uh, talk about this little thing here. Oh, <laughs> so I absolutely love that. <laughs> yes. So I met you in a networking event and I had just broken my foot. And uh, so I you introduced me to this little thing here and I felt something that was happening. So how did you come across this? Little thing. So, <laughs> again, do you remember when I say, as soon as you open yourself, mm -hmm. everything is flowing. So I fall. I fall in a store and, you know, I love the store. So they say, oh, you have to sue. No, I didn't want to sue the store because I fall. And I love the store. And so I was looking for alternative to help myself. And one of my clients, in fact, told me, have you heard about uh, the, the technology Tesla, biohealing? They talk about it. And as soon as she was talking about it, but you have to know that I was the day before and maybe a few hours before saying, okay, I have already a huge, a, a, a beautiful technology that I use here also. And I was saying, okay, I need something uh, a little bit more powerful where that I don't need to um, 
I don't need to bring it to people. People can come and sit and be in it. I was looking for that. So as soon as she say, I have, uh, I heard about, I felt in my heart that my heart was opening. It was as if it was an answer. I told you it's all about synchronicity, but flow. I knew it was that. So I, I went right away to try it. And uh, I went with my husband. I said, my, and my husband said, Madge, we are not buying anything. Eh? We are just watching. I said, okay. But I was so excited. He said, let's see really if it works. After 30 minutes, I was feeling this huge release in my body. Exactly what you felt when you 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 break your your. So the body, the mind, and all the mental, we cannot ever heal if we are not fully, truly relaxed. In nature, the lion, when they are hurt, they go, they isolate themselves, and they can heal. So they can heal naturally. They don't uh, go to the hospital usually, right, in the wild. So we have this ability. I truly believe that we have this ability. And as soon as we reach this high level of relaxation, we can. Otherwise, we are in chaos, continuous chaos. So we learn by just doing the right thing, relaxing first. Because we never do that, right? We always have something to do. We always running around. In fact, you break your feet, you break your foot, right? But you were running around. I met you because you were running around. And instead of uh, se sitting and being, helping your, 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 your foot to heal. Well, it's a good thing because I met you, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, I want to ask you a question and then I let uh, Stephen take over because of, I'm taking over the show here. But yes. I, I'd like to ask you because we're talking about relaxing and and mm. and that energy. So, you know, I am a, a avid meditator. I've been meditating for like uh, decades Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's part of uh, my life, you know, I've been doing it for a long time. And so what is the difference? Because that you get into deep states of, of relaxation also when you meditate. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I can feel it, but still there's some a different feeling with that Tesla. So what is the difference? So the Tesla biohealing technology release biophoton. So biophoton is what we have in our body. As we age, we have less and less of biophoton. So this technology helps us restore. That's why I say regenerate and bring back. It's a shift. You decide to change. You don't decide to change and you say, okay, I'm waiting. I, I decide to change. I'm waiting. It will happen. No. You take over. You decide, I'm going to change. You shift. You reset and you accept to regenerate the body, the mind and, and the mental, the emotional, everything. And then you can rewrite your story because it's truly that you rewrite your story because it's no more. You have enough. You are in pain. You are, you know, you cannot continue to do over and over the same thing. It's called insanity, right? And expecting another result. You cannot. So you need to shift and you need to shift everything. It's not just the body. It's the mental, the emotional, everything has to shift. It's a mind-body practice, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a... So one of the questions I do have is, from a male point of view, is that I don't have a clear... Uh, definite, not a definition, but an idea. What is the gift? You know, I know that. Uh, okay, I don't know what the gift is. I, I know there's been a lot of conversation, but from a male point of view, I don't know what the gift is. Is the gift uh, uh, an inner uh, uh, tuition? 
that when you're talking to somebody, if it's going on inside their body, you could alert them to it? Is there a way through your conversation or your teachings to help them to relax, to understand that they're stressed out, and when they reach a point of relaxation, that they'll be able to make better choices? I love your question. So yeah. let's do an exercise like that. You will understand. You you will you will understand. Sure. So if you close your eyes, both of you, a few seconds. Okay, close mm -hmm. your eyes. So you have a lot of things in your head, right? You have you have stuff coming, ideas. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of things in your head, right? Yes. Okay. So. In your head, you have tons of stuff. You have conditioning, you have stories, you have a lot of things going on there. However, I will ask you to go to imagine that you are going in your heart. So you are going in your heart. If you cannot do it just by imagining, touch your heart and feel that you are here in your heart. So Stephen, do you understand now that you are somewhere else? You are no more in your head. And as soon as you are in your heart, you have another perception of your reality. And this perception is very different from a few minutes ago. Would you agree? Well, I'm still in my head. You know, the thing is, uh, I don't like go that easy. See, first of all, I don't like closing my eyes because when I close my eyes, I want to go to sleep. It's hard enough getting up. So <laughs> once, my, once my eyes are open, which is the vision to the soul, I don't, I've been to seminars and things. I, I don't like to close my eyes. So if somebody says to me, close your, it, it will work for Batista, but if somebody or other people, because it does work, but if somebody's asking me to close my eyes and to be one place or another, uh, it doesn't happen for me because I'm on, I'm bottom line logic, you know? Okay. So the logic, I will go to your logic. Your logic says that you exercise, you are Dr. Fitness USA, right? It's about designing your body, right? Yes. So will that happen in in uh, just because we think about it? Oh, uh, today I'm designing my body. It's take practice, right? It takes practice. So I cannot have the beautiful body like you just because I think about it. Right. Just because I do it one time. It's exactly the same thing for, for the pr practice of being in your heart. It's something that you learn because it's not natural for us. It should be natural, but it's not. We are here. We have so much going on there that we cannot. But when you are there, there is nothing happening. You don't hear your okay. body. So the gift is really, so what the gift is, which the question hasn't been answered yet from yes. a male point of view, <laughs> okay, is that your ability is to get somebody to uh, come out of one part of their body, the, their celebrial part, their thinking part, get into a more relaxed state of mind, which will create a different vision. So your ability is greater than most people, maybe because of who you are, what your belief system is, the way that you express yourself, the tone of your voice. So that's the way I understand it. So all that is true. But in addition, I, I have the ability to, to feel, okay, to feel a little bit deeper. So I will feel what's going on in the body. I will feel because yes, I practice a lot, but also I help people get in, get this awareness, awareness of who they are, not just as a physical level, but at a mental, at a spiritual, emotional, all of it together. 
So helping people to discover who they truly are. You find your passion. It's a gift what you do. You are transforming life, but physical body life. You have the gift. You are not uh, working on computer, for example. Mm -hmm. Each of us, we are unique and each of us, we have this ability to discover our gift because we came for that, for something. So my gift was to, I would say, my gift is because I have a few maybe gifts I have developed because I am so in tune with who I am that I was able to know all of my gifts. Maybe not all, because I'm sure I have more to discover. Life is not the end yet, right? So when I can feel the body, I can feel part of the body where it's not right. It can appear in in my mind as, for example, for, I am talking to you. I feel that you have a pen here in your shoulder. So shoulder, and it's it's more how I feel it. I mm -hmm. will feel it more like a tender. So now I understand a little bit better of what you're talking about, <laughs> which makes more sense. That so is a little So part. thanks for sharing. So if we go back to the uh, Tesla. Wait, wait. Yeah. But we are there, okay? Okay, sure. So now move your, your shoulder, okay? How is the pain? Well, the pain is constant there. One to five. Could be a seven. A seven. Five. Okay. Seven. <laughs> okay. Okay, that, that, is, that is clear. Okay, so don't close your eyes, but focus on your heart. So you see the little can? Yeah. Okay. It's on my heart. Okay. Okay. So focus. You have the can too on your desk. Why don't you put okay. it on your heart So too? put it on your heart. Put it in the middle of your chest. Here I have it. Okay. Put it yeah. okay. You put yeah. it in the middle of your chest. Oh, okay. 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 And try to breathe deeper and imagine that this little can have something so special that it's coming, it's going to your shoulder right now. Going to your shoulder. Okay. Do you feel anything when I do that? No, not right at the moment because I'm not in a state of mind that I want to relax. So the uh, I don't. So the, this okay. Is, look at this. so the opposite part doesn't want to relax yet because so when I was getting okay. back to when I was getting back to the Tesla because Batista is walking around with this can, you know, logically I'm wondering what what's this can <laughs> is. And she's bringing it to the bed. She lines up the four cans. Uh, I'm watching TV. She's already, uh, you know, she's on me all the time. What I can say about the uh, Tesla can is that um, what's been helpful mm -hmm. uh, is to be able to for, uh, sleep. I know. Uh, so, so, I'd have to say that there's there uh, there something. could be, or there is something to <laughs> whatever's in this can. Uh, when I go to sleep, I always start off by saying, "Well, I'm in bed, but I'm not sleepy." And second of all, how am I ever going to sleep? Because I don't take sleeping pills. I don't like that type of feeling where you get up and you're really not yourself. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, but I do fall asleep. So, so you so have that, four of that, right? We have four cans in back okay. of my head, and so I'd have to say there is a relaxation. Since something's happening in that environment, the cans, if they're surrounding me or back of me, create an environment where. Uh, Without thinking about it, I am relaxing. 
Okay. And in so the relaxation now, allows me to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Now, if I get up, I can still go back into that environment and go back to sleep. So now that you had this first experience, mm -hmm. now it's time for you to go to the next level. Okay. okay? So you will have the can now, when you go to sleep, you will put it here on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And you will have it in bed like that, on the shoulder, okay? Okay. And we will talk again. Okay. Okay? So <laughs> now how do you, how would you say that the level of pen is. What is your level of pen right now? Oh, well, no, I'm not thinking about it, but uh, maybe it's a six. Maybe it maybe went down a bit. I, I try not to focus on it because logically I, I'm thinking in my mind. Absolutely. What causes an injury to continue? Mm -hmm. So the logical point is coming up with a solution to eliminate the pain. So we are able to do way more with our heart than with, with our mind. If you think okay. about it, I believe, again, that the power is here. Okay, so there's no argument in there. I'll uh, take it as a... <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll share your, your experience with me and talk about the positive. So the question is that... Uh, the question I was asking is, so... When you're working with people, of mm -hmm. course, uh, you're trying to get to the root of what's really going on with them. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's kind of like if you have a destination and you need a car to get there, mm -hmm. is there, I know that you are swimming and walking, but do you alert anybody to that they ought to be doing some form of exercise uh, to uh, support whatever it is that you're doing through the relaxation. So I want to say one thing before I answer. Okay. Oh. You remember you say, I don't like to close my eyes. Right. Okay. So you do not need to close your eyes to relax. You do not need to do that. You can be in the subway in New York and be able to go to reach the state of, I have everything going, slowing down. Okay. It brings you clarity in your mind. It helps you heal your body, but absolutely, as you say, it's important to exercise. I absolutely love that. And when I look at how you are both built, I say, wow, that is beautiful. You are building muscles. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's important to exercise also. Well, because uh, we right. feed the body, we eat, but we need to help the body to continue to function really well. Excellent. So uh, what I find is that uh, in the healing modalities, it could be uh, uh, yoga, it could be Pilates, it could be walking, it could be swimming. But the, the uh, major component of exercise that's eliminated from the conversations of most therapists is strength training. And strength training is the number one exercise in the world right now for anti-aging. And it's been documented by science and the results happening. And uh, gyms are now uh, are uh, million dollar places. They're not just little personal training studios. And I always ask therapists or healers, do they ever point anybody in the direction of strength training or to give us some thought? And the answer is usually no. So I would not say no because um, I, 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 I did myself. I, I, I did. I built my muscle at one point because for me, it was the only way to build muscle. You're right. Uh, I, I stopped doing it because I hurt myself. And after that, I didn't have time to go back to it. But it's a great idea what you say. And I love what you say. You cannot have muscle without doing anything. It's not possible. 
And building muscle, it's exactly what you do, how you do it. It's for me, the only way to build. The, the only thing that I don't like, it's taking pills to build it. And I love that you are doing everything naturally. So tell me about that. Okay, well, in okay, yeah, <laughs> we well we'll make it short. There are parts that are either exercises or not, or they. Uh, so when they hear the word fitness, mm -hmm. fitness could be eat, you know, walking away from the table and not eating. So wherever the person is at, that's what the word fitness is. But the greatest way to do it is to actually go to a proper environment that has certain pieces of equipment. It's like going to a dentist who has the right tools and so that they can work their body properly. Believe it or not, in this day and age, they do not have a program that addresses balance and posture and mind-body connection in a way that's comfortable to the body. It's all based on performance. That means that they're going to motivate you more than they would by yourself. We have a system that's more based on uh, Eastern medicine, like acupuncture, which is very, very quiet. It's what's under the hood. That may, Or if you want to be a great dancer, don't you go to uh, a place and they teach you the steps and then they put it to music. OK, when you go to a gym, it doesn't work that way. The more they beat you up, the more you think you're training and the more they sweat. Dr. Fitness USA's vision is to create a stronger, healthier society of people enjoying vibrant health, unshakable self-confidence and a sculpted body they'll fall in love with. Our custom tailored formulas act as the GPS to your ultimate transformation so you can reach your destination faster and safer without injury. The Feminine Body Design program teaches a woman the art of strength training from a female perspective and helps her achieve the feminine physique she always dreamed of having. The Body Design Formula program teaches men to achieve a sculpted manly physique without injuries. Seniors can tap into the fountain of youth get a new lease on life, rebuild their strength, and eliminate aches and pains. Those with injuries learn to rehabilitate them, recover mobility, and relieve back, neck, shoulder, and knee pain. Now, with working with Steven, just in, what, four workouts, I think, so far, if that, um, I have no pain in my knees like I used to. Suddenly a quietness in the mind, clarity. I mean, I don't have back pain anymore. It's amazing. It's just really amazing. I'm Bernie Dorman. I'm founder and chairman of CO Space International, and I so endorse Dr. Fitness for leaders with that better life. He does the inside and the outside to make sure you're the best leader you can ever be. And yesterday was already too late to say yes. If your mind can conceive it and your heart can believe it, then Dr. Fitness USA can help you achieve it. Have a program and do six different exercises that make you feel good about your body. That increases your emotional strength. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we have a system that gets you from your, being a couch potato into the gym one or two times a week. makes you feel like a million dollars, silly. And then it becomes a habit if they have some mentoring and a guidance. That's a beautiful conversation. And uh, you mentioned yourself... Uh, Match that you used to do it and then you uh, got injured and this is yes. an example and this is a lot of times we hear that story oh I used to do I used to do it and then I got hurt and and now I, the belief is that because I got hurt then it's the sport that hurt me but it's not that it's the way you do it and I have an accident that's why I stopped it yeah. wasn't because I exercised. Oh, yeah, but good. I have the accident and I was, the body was hurting and I stopped doing it. Yeah. yeah. So in the, in the body design, we, we actually work around the injury. Well, first of all, I met Steven 15 years ago when I had a lot of injuries from dancing and some car accidents that I had. And I had tried just about everything to heal my injuries. Then I met him and 
you know, I within two weeks, my backache of 30 years was gone. But now, 15 years later, I broke my foot, right? So it's now I have a whole new awareness because I've been doing this for 15 years. I go to therapy, okay? The doctor sent me to therapy. If I had to rely exclusively on the therapy, I would not, I, I would be, it would take me another five years to get anywhere, okay? Yep. So this is what people are subjected to when they don't have the knowledge of how to work with the body. When something happens, you become a real victim. And the system, the medical system is, is really not gonna help very much in this case. Like um, for me, uh, in two months of having broken the foot, I'm almost back to, to, you know, where I was before, not quite. This is helping, but the strength training, the body design is helping too. And, I, and we believe, and this is one of the reasons why we do the show, is we believe that this gotta be in integration between medicine, holistic healing, and body design, where we can really put all the pieces together. And that's the mission of the show. So thank you for being here and having this conversation. By the way, I love this interaction with Stephen and, and this because it's so <laughs> real, you know, and he's, he's not going to fake it. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of I a love that. Track, you know, <laughs> but it was it was actually 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 very beautiful and if i can make an observation on it is that a person is so trapped in their head that they have a hard time to let go mm -hmm. and then without thinking about it the cans as we call them are laying in the bed and there is a relaxation when you when you don't think about it mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when you don't force it to happen, you don't say, Oh, I'm going to relax. Oh, let my brain tell me how I can do that. Yeah, oh. exactly. When there's no, um, uh, what do you say? When you fight something, the resistance, and you just are, then it happens. It happens. So this is the beautiful Happens. thing about this. Mitch, do you have any, uh, like three takeaways that we can leave our audience with from our conversation today? So I will tell you that, uh, and thank you for asking Batista. We are unique and as a unique human being, we are part of a big picture. We are all on earth for a reason. So if each of us take their true mission in end, I truly believe that we will live in a better society. That is my first thing to say. So as soon as you understand who you are, as soon as you learn how to stay out of here and be more in your heart, you live a more fulfilled life. You are happier. You are healthier because you take full responsibility of what you are coming to do here. And being in your heart, it's also being way more powerful. So be authentic, be in your heart, discover who you are, learn how to take over, stand up for what you came to do. Because that is important. And you will have purpose and more meaning in your life, no matter what. Thank you. That's, that is beautiful. Uh, I, I think that you have a gift for our audience. You mentioned. Absolutely. So reach out with the code Dr. Fitness and you will have a session where I will give you a few tips to uncover one thing going on in your life. Great. So but I'm not saying anything more. I say reach out with Dr. Fitness USA and just say you, you saw 
you have seen the show, you love the show, whatever, you are intrigued, you want a session, and you will have a session. That is a great gift. And ladies and gentlemen, reach out to Medge, and you won't be sorry as you are witnessed in this interview, in this session, we have our little thing here and we- Little, little friend. <laughs> and um, it's uh, making a, a big difference in our life. It's been an electrifying show. And I want to add that whoever is watching this, that they actually give you a call. Uh, not next week, but like now. I can guarantee you. you they're going to discover something about themselves that they can actually use in their day-to-day -day life as a shift into a better person. Great. Medj, one last thing. Where can people actually find you? Medjaspen.com. So uh, behind me, you have M-E-D-G-E-J-A-S-P-A-N. So I'm on social media with this name. And dot com it's my website beautiful okay thank I you we uh, had another amazing show at dr fitness usa thank you so much for having this conversation with us Madge. and until next time bye for now thank you thank you to both of you for having me thank you.